I've just landed on the island of Unalaska. The main port here is Dutch Harbor. Geography here is just so disorientating because all the roads, they all wind around and there's water here, there's water there. This island is home to one of the largest commercial fishing fleets in the world. Last year alone, half a million tons of seafood were landed here. This is clearly all about the fishing, and it's very clearly on a scale that goes way beyond the needs of the small number of people who live here. So it's all about those people out on the big boats, including the boats that make deadliest catch. But could the strange occurrences I've heard about be a threat to all this? I need to find out what's going on. Anybody, anyone here? No, by all means. Can I, can I drop in? Are you, are you local here? Or are you, you, you visiting or? No, I'm a, I'm a resident here. I've uh, lived here for 24 years. So w while you're here, do you fish? Oh. Every day. Is that a silly question? Is that yeah. just a... Uh, yeah. Right? yeah, every every day. You know, I, I, I catch, uh, you know, plenty of seafood to help, you know, kind of subsidize the food, right. the food bill. What's the biggest halibut you've seen? My dad's 450-pounder. Uh, um, it was one inch short, eight feet long. I, I've been hearing that there, there are some sort of strange... There's some strange stuff turning up from time to time. Is that something you've seen? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah? Things are either not where they're supposed to be, they're there at different times of the year, or there's something completely new in a place that I had never seen before. Last year, I heard the Pollock didn't even show up, and then, like a week after the season, there was a uh, dragger pulling a net on the bottom of the ocean, and they found him at like 400 feet deep. Pollock liked to school up at the surface, but they stayed down deep. They were avoiding something. So the behavior is strange. Oh, yes. And, and this is happening in a, in, a, in, a, in a short time span. This has happened within the last two, three years, and it, it's, it's rapid. Last year, I saw more humpback whales in our bay than I have seen in my entire life combined. Um, and they're really active, too. Oh, man, breaching. Breaching like torpedoes outside. What it's saying to me is almost, it, it's, it's almost as if the whole system is becoming a bit more unstable. Exactly, yeah. So 450 pound halibut, but that was quite a long time ago. And as for these other stories, the weird stuff that's turning up, that seems to confirm what I've heard. Uh, things do seem to be out of whack. I've never fished here before. I want to get a line in the water to see for myself what's down there. Morning. Good morning. morning. How are you doing? So it, lo it looks like we can go out. Yeah, I think we can get yeah. out. George Vernon has been fishing in these waters for the last 20 years, and he used to target halibut. I think we're going to go out towards Cape Cheerful because the wind is just... Cape Cheerful? Yeah. Right, OK. So, yeah. Well, I, I think they call it Cape Cheerful because you're happy to see it when you're coming in. Right, 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 right. OK, so that makes sense, yes. It's not really too cheerful out there. Not too long ago, these waters were producing record-breaking halibut. George shows me the lures that used to do the trick. White jigs. And do you put a bit of bit of flavor on that as well, or just fish yeah. essence? Yeah. Got some salmon belly left over. I let the lure sink all the way to the ocean floor. This is where halibut should be found. Near, nearly 200 feet here. Oh. Yeah. OK, there we go. Don't know, it might have. OK. Hey. Yes. Pacific cod, yeah. The Pacific cod is a voracious feeder and common in these waters. There it goes. There it is. You can see the fish. 
And it's it's Another. it's a cod, just a sort of ordinary sized cod. So how about have more of that? They have they have a the, the rod tip was more like up, 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 down, yes, down, down, down. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah. It's another cod. Cod tip. Cod. All I'm catching is cod after cod. They're bottom feeders like halibut, and they're one of the main commercial catches landed at Dutch Harbour. But is that all that's down there? Something. Oh. Yeah, this is a fish. Mm. The possibilities start racing through my mind. Uh, come up closer. Whatever's on the end of my line this time feels like something entirely different. That would fit in the mouth of a big one, but it's, it's a halibut. It's small, but encouraging. Even halibut this size are highly effective predators. At three or four pounds, this one is probably just a couple of years old. I fish for another six hours, and I catch more halibut, but nothing big. Something small is on there. Small. This one's feeling smaller as it comes up. <sighs> In a place famous for its giant halibut, it seems only small young fish are here now. I need to find out what's happened to the big ones. Heading back, something catches my eye. Here. The tail just went down here. We are surrounded by humpback whales. Humpbacks feed on tiny krill and small fish like sardines. So the whales aren't suspects in the halibut's disappearance. For me, an amazing sight. These waters clearly support a giant ocean species, so it's strange that the big halibut don't seem to be here. 